Hey everyone, welcome to the Biomolecules and Biomedicine Journal blog. Today we are exploring a study on diabetic neuropathy in a type 2 diabetes patients. Type 2 diabetes, a major public health issue, can lead to severe complications like diabetes neuropathy, which affects nerves primarily in the limbs, causing pain and numbness. Joining us today is Dr. Gulali, whose research focuses on a C-reactive protein to serum albumin ratio, or CER, as potential marker for this condition. Dr. Gulali, can you tell us more about yourself and your findings? Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Let me introduce myself. Uh, I am a professor in internal medicine department of Avant Izzet by Sal University Hospital with a clinical experience of 16 years. Our study involved analyzing the data from 697 diabetic patients. We found that serum C-reactive protein to albumin ratio levels were significantly higher in patients with diabetic neuropathy compared to those without. With a C-reactive protein to albumin ratio level of 2.19 in neuropathic patients versus 0.56 in others, the marker showed high sensitivity and specificity. Each increase in C-reactive protein to albumin ratio was linked to a 1.34-fold increase in the risk of developing neuropathy. What does this mean for patients and practitioners? A good question. Thank you very much. This study suggests that monitoring C-reactive protein to albumin ratio could become a simple and cost-effective way to detect neuropathy early. Elevated C-reactive protein to albumin ratio levels should prompt immediate clinical evaluations to prevent irreversible damage. Thank you, Dr. Gulali, for your insight. This promising research could lead us to better early detection for diabetic neuropathy, improving out outcomes for millions worldwide.